Hi guys, it's the 20th of May and I'm here at the Mail Online. Now I spoke about contactless cards last November. I actually made a video about it and spoke about some of the dangers I could see coming with these cards. And I also said that it was a very, um, well I thought it was an introduction to RFID, which it was and it was put into people's cards and some people didn't even know that these contactless cards existed. Now this story here on the Mail Online today is talking about some of the dangers that I could see coming. Um, this story is contactless cards hit shoppers with phantom charges, string of complaints after customers paid for items when plastic was in their pockets. Now what's happening with these people, they had a contactless card in their purses or their bags or their pockets and they've made a payment using another card and what's happened is the contactless reader on the the till in the shop has also taken the payment from their contactless card as well now these are you know it's nowhere near the contactless card machine but it's still taken their payments so obviously the RFID chip is being read whether or not you want to use that card for a payment or not so this is just a warning to people with a contactless card. Um, if you do have these cards, what it is, it's got three little lines on it. If you've got these contactless cards, what I suggest to you is either go to your bank and ask them for a normal card or take your money out of the machine and don't even take these cards out with you which have got the RFID chip in them. Don't even take them take them out with you because these customers here that had this problem, their cards were over 11 inches away from the reader and it still took their money. So this is just a warning, if you've got a contactless card, don't take it out with you, either get the card changed or take the money out of the ATM and leave the card at home. Don't take these things into shops where they have a RFID reader for the contactless cards, which is in, they're in most shops at the moment. I know um, Boots have them, um, MS have them and probably all the other larger stores have them as well. So don't even take these cards out with you people because it's dangerous and you're going to start finding charges on your card which you did not expect or someone is going to take your card and make payments with it. You can spend up to £20 on these cards, you don't need a signature, all you have to do is tap the card onto the machine and it will take your payment. There are some people also having problems with TFL and the Oyster card. As they're going through, it's also reading their bank cards as well and taking payments from them. I find this really disgusting and I think the banks really do need to either give people some sort of protection around their card so there's a sleeve that it's in that is that cannot be read through this uh, plastic sleeve or some sort of sleeve it can be put in that's RFID unreadable and have some sort of protection or take these cards away until this is remedied because this is a very very dangerous situation we're in if you're walking around and they're just snatching your money whenever they feel like it it's not good enough peeps change your card or take your money out of your ATM and then go buy your goods do not take these cards out of the house with you just a little warning and I'll leave the link below of where I did speak about this last year in November okay peace out